Thank you, you may be seated. Hello. Good morning, everyone. My name is James Whitley, and I had the pleasure of being this year's student body president. I'd like to shout out everybody in the stands for coming out and celebrating this day with us. To the parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, friends, neighbors, or any of y'all random people that say y'all knew us when we were in diapers. Uh, thank you. Without y'all, we wouldn't be here this very day. Now I want to take a moment of congratulating the graduating class of 2023. None of us knew how each year would turn out, but somehow, someway, we all got here. Go back to freshman year. None of us knew how it was going to go. It was weird, but that's how it is for any freshman. Between the first class, first lunch, first homework assignment, first prep rally, first quiz, we had no idea how anything worked at the high school. You would walk in the hallways every day and seem like you would find somebody new. Not many things made sense to us during this time, but little did we know that that time period would be the most normal time period we would have for a while. It's March 15th, 2020, and we all got the news that we were going home for two weeks. If you were like me, I was happy as can be. I mean, no, none of us wanted to be at school. Those two weeks lingered on for what seemed like forever. Then we go into sophomore year. That was a big show. People were getting quarantined left and right. It seemed as if we would go into every class and figure out which table got sent home that day. But that's how life was. And then we go into junior year. We all started to be able to do what we were doing in our day-to-day -day lives before COVID hit. And that's when I started to see the smiles come back to Mama High School. It was fun to see everybody start enjoying life again. Then we go into senior year. Man, y'all found every way to make everything we did fun. And having the position I did this year allowed me to step back and see how much each of us cared about each other. One of my main goals this year was to bring us closer together. If it was adding that one person to your friend group or adding 20 people to your friend group, it made a difference. This meant so much to me because there will only be one class of 2023 from Mama High School. And legacy is one of the most important things that drives me every day. I think every single person in this room has thought about at one time or another, how will I be remembered when I'm gone? I've thought about this a lot, and it will pop up in my mind at the most random times. During car rides, doing work, at the doctor's office, or even when Mr. Ricketts will take forever on one of his lectures. I think about it all the time. Only two days ago, I was in a bad car wreck that completely totaled my car on the interstate. People in front of me slammed on the brakes, I slammed on mine, and a big pickup truck came behind me full force and knocked me into the car in front of me and threw me forward about 40, 50 yards. After that, it started hitting really hard about that question. Then I started realizing that the word legacy gets looked at wrong. People think that their legacy is only made up of the big accomplishments in their life that separate them from others. Your legacy is everything that we do. The way you carry yourself, how you talk, how involved you are with stuff, who you hang out with, how you treat others, et cetera. Others also think that their legacy can't be changed or they can't be someone else other than the person it seems they've been confined to be. Everyone's legacy is different and that's what makes it so unique. I see my legacy as one giant book. All the significant time periods form its own chapter in my story. So personally, I want each word of my story to be better and better as it goes. I want to live my life as if I were to die and go back and read that book and have zero regrets. Every single one of you today will start writing your own legacy when we leave. So I'll end by saying this. Only you can decide what goes in your book, so write the rest of it with purpose. Congratulations, class of 2023. We made it. Thank you, James. At this time, I'd like to recognize our special guests, Dr. Charles McNulty, Superintendent, Dr. Sonia Whitfield, Deputy Superintendent, a few of our Pulaski County School District board members, 
Mr. Shelby Thomas, Vice President, Sergeant Eli Keller, Miss Wendy Potter, Miss Heather Smith, and Miss Tina Ward. The Superintendent's Cabinet's members, Miss Sean Burgess, Mr. Curtis Johnson, Dr. Yolandra Williams, Dr. Justin Luttrell, Dr. Darnell Bell, Dr. Suzette Bloodman, and I'd like to recognize the Maumel High School Administration, Mr. Teotis Ingram, Ms. Teresa Thomas, and Ms. Monica Reen. The, high, the Maumel High School Counseling Department, Ms. Kendra Hunt, Dr. Allison Horton, and Ms. Cecilia Palacitas. The Driven Virtual Academy Principal, Ms. Leslie Ireland, Driven Virtual Academy Counselor, Ms. Shakita Story. I'd also like to recognize the faculty of Maumel High School, if they'd please stand. Thank you for being here on this important day and for serving our district with your time and commitment to equity and excellence. At this time, I'd like to recognize our students and parents who are currently serve in the military or, or our veterans and those students that are, have just re recently signed up to go into the military. If all men and women who have, who have currently served would please stand. Thank you for your service, sacrifice, and commitment to our country. Today, as we turn the page into a new chapter in our scholars' lives, it's only fitting that we take a moment to express our deepest gratitude to someone who's dedicated over four decades to the field of education. A man who has not only been a pillar of wisdom and guidance, but a true source of inspiration for generations and students and educators alike. I'm, of course, referring to our beloved assistant principal, Mr. Coach Deotis Ingram. <laughs> Mr. Ingram, for over 40 years, you have been a guiding light, illuminating the path of countless students, helping them navigate the complexities of life and with academics, with grace, compassion, and unwavering support. Beyond your tireless dedication to academic growth, you have been a mentor, a confident and a friend to all that have had the privilege to cross your path. Mr. Ingram, as we bid farewell and congratulate you on your well-deserved retirement, we, wa we, want to, we want you to know that your impact will forever be woven into the fabric of this school's legacy. Today, as we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduating class, let us also celebrate the remarkable legacy of a man who has dedicated his life to empowering young minds. Thank you, Mr. Ingram, for being the embodiment of what it means to be a true educator. Now we will hear from the Maumel Choir.
Thank you, Miss Westerman and the Maumelle High School Choir. It's now my pleasure to introduce this year's salutatorian, William, William Hoffman. Hello students, teachers, friends, and family. Thank you for coming to celebrate this important moment with us and for all your support throughout the years. My name is William Hoffman and I came to Maumelle High School from San Antonio, Texas two years ago. I spent my high school years in two different types of schools, in two different states, and in two different situations. When I left San Antonio, I was terrified of attending a new school where I didn't know anybody. Despite this fear, however, Mamel welcomed me with open arms. In a town where most people had known each other since elementary school, I was treated just like any other student. We as the class of 2023 all had to deal with the pandemic. Hours at your Chromebook, listening to some teacher talk while you sat on your phone and looked up the answers to the assignment later. Falling asleep during first period and waking up in an empty call even though I went to a charter school in a city of one and a half million people, 600 miles away, we all dealt with the same issues, and we all ended up here today. And even though we all have different plans for the future, whether you're staying in Arkansas or moving away, whether you're entering college or trade school or your career, we will all end up exactly where we were meant to be. I wish I had the words to inspire you all to go out and accomplish great things, but the truth is, I don't know what I could say that you haven't already heard. You already know that persistence will get you further than luck. You already know that if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. You already know not to sweat the small stuff, and you already know that life can be hard and unfair, but it is worth it to carry on. I would like to close by thanking all of the teachers for making sure we're prepared for the future, thanking all the friends and families in the stands today for your support in getting us where we are, and most importantly, to Mama High School for accepting me into your family. I wish you all the best of luck wherever you may go, and I will give you this advice as we move forward with life. Keep leaning on those who support you, push past those who doubt you, and never feel locked into a path that makes you unhappy. Thank you. Thank you, William. Please enjoy our performance by the Maumelle High School Band.
Thank you, Mr. Jackson, and our award-winning Maumelle High School Band. I would like to now introduce to you this year's valedictorian, Evan Gassaway. Good morning, parents, family, faculty, and the class of 2023. It is an absolute honor to stand before you. Today is the day which many of us have been looking forward to for some time. It's our graduation. At certain times in this journey, we thought this day would never come. But now that our graduation is finally here, I can't help but feel that time flew by. Our time at Mama High School has finally reached its grand conclusion. I remember being so excited at the thought of being a senior and graduating. The idea of being finished with school seemed like such a far off and exhilarating idea. And now, here we are. I honestly do not know how to define this feeling. On one half, I'm excited that I'm getting to move forward with the next steps of my life in college and beyond, the start of my adulthood. However, there's another part of me that wishes I could pause time, that I could just stay in this moment with the people that I have grown up with and stay in the same place that I have come to love over these four years. It is okay to have mixed feelings about today. It's okay to feel sadness, excitement, and relief. Many of, uh, many of us attended elementary school together. We went to middle school together, and today is the last time a lot of us will ever see each other again. Really let that notion seek in. Every moment spent with our teachers, time, time spent in the cafeteria, in the hallways, at football games, at basketball games, and with our friends will now just be memories. Senior year has been a lot of lasts, but don't let this feeling overwhelm you, for all of our lasts mark a point of growth and new beginnings. I can remember a long time ago in middle school when my brother and I dyed our hair an outrageous color of pink and blonde. At the time, I thought I looked like a million bucks, a true hot shot, but looking back, I can 100% say that instead of being a true ladies' man, I was quite the opposite. It's moments of reflection like these that are truly essential. Last times mark a point of growth and new beginnings. When looking back who I was in middle school, I can say that I've truly grown as a person. And in 10 years or so in the future, I will look back at who I am now and see all the ways in which I have grown as a person. Yes, while today, May 20th, 2023 is a conclusion, it's also the beginning of the rest of our lives. Each and every single person in this room is about to embark on their own and completely unique path of growth. Some of us are going to college, some of us are going to trade school, and others are just gonna ride their path and see where it takes them. No matter which path we have chosen, all of us are bound for a future of greatness. I wish each and every one of you to find what makes you happy, to carve out your own path, and to make a positive difference in this world. Thank you teachers, staff, and administration you have no idea how much you have shaped mine and my fellow classmates' lives. You make a difference in the lives of so many every single day. Thank you to the class of 2023. We will truly be the best class to ever grace the halls of Maumel. I will now end this speech with a quote from one of our greats, Alexander Hamilton. There are a lot of things we have done and a lot of things we have yet to do. Go Hornets and best of luck, class of 2023. Thank you, Evan. Good morning, everyone. I am Teresa Thomas, assistant principal at Maumel High School. At this time, we would like to recognize those students have been, who have been awarded scholarships. Students, if you were offered a scholarship this year, would you please stand and remain standing so that we may recognize you for this achievement? The graduating class of 2023 has been offered a grand total of $3,781,952. Congratulations, students. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Parents, if you would like to see the full list of scholarships, please look on the Maumelle website. You may be seated.
on behalf of the school board administration and staff of Maumel High School and Driven Virtual Academy, it's my honor to present to you the senior class of 2023. Shall we begin? Evan Robert Gassaway. William Andrew Hoffman. Caitlin Day Alby, Brene Kaziah Allen, Ainsley Bell Atchison, Brianna Patrice Bass, Evan Alexander. Baumgartner, Nathan Robert Bircher, Lindsey Dean Belvins, Cayenne Ty Bonsang Bonacrat, Amani Janae Brown. Lily Marie Cardin. Charles Edward Carlisle III. Olivia Marie Cotton. Daniel Ray, excuse me, Daniel Ray Chega. Caroline Reese Culpepper. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Elaine Diaz. <laughs> Cheyenne Nicole Dollarhide. <laughs> Samuel Ryder Gassaway. <laughs> Eleanor Iris Goodell. Hattie Rose Gore. Jordan Amaya Gray. Margaret Lily Ann Groves. Noah Joseph Gurney. Aaron Rose Harchie. Darlene Rat K. Hindman. <laughs> Tasia Alea Jackson. Braden Andrew Kemp. Tanner Vance Kinley. Lim Clee. Cars Larson, excuse me, Larson. Krista Lachey Lee. Jenna Van Lee. Chloe Ann Martin. Achilles Shane Pace. Jaden Chitan Patel. Abby Grace Pittman. Joy Porter. Joy Alexa Porter. Caroline Faith Putnam. Loran Lake Ramey. Alea Javiana Richardson. Shider. 
Logan Casper Scheider. Addison Clark Shelton. Samuel Harrison Stevens. Jamichael Jamal Taylor. Kyla. Kyla Ann Tolliver. Taylor Nicole Twisdale. Tristan Riley Twisdale. Derek Benjamin Kathleen Tyler. Trinity, Trinity Shanae Antoinette Walker. James Houston Whitley. Bethany Ann Williams. Anya Janae Willis. Anaya. Anaya Janae Willis. Nicole Chanel Wilson. Riley Kate Wilson. Colin Brady Womack. Savannah Sky Sabala. Jatavion. Jatavion Jared Barnes. Laney Ray Allen. Treasure Zania Baker. Connor Phoenix Burroughs. Jewel Ray Brackett Jr. Sarah Jolyn Madison Brister. Amori Janai Brown. Brianna Brown. Natalie Grace Brown. Gabriel Yvonne Bruce. Jordan Camille Bush. Jake Elliott Cadwalder. Jordan Damon Candler. Tony Lee Carpenter Jr. Demarius Castile Escobar. Frederick Nichols, Nicholas Childers. Omarion Clay. Demontre Eugene Clay. Paxton Reed Compton. Nylia Cortez, Nayeli, Nayeli Cortez, Jason Amand Crawford Jr., Makai Deshaun Crossgrove, Tucker Andrew Culp. Hannah McKinley Davis. Anthony 
Raul Charles Diaz. Trista Simone Diller. Solomon Demetrius Cotton. J. Allen Dunlap. Lucas Rashad Dupree. Haley Reese England. Catherine Elizabeth Irvin. Christian Erilyn Ford. Martha Amani Lopez Foster. Logan Mark Fox. Alea Tatiana Frazier. Janaea. Janaea Patrice Frazier. Joshua Cameron Fredenberg. Sharonique Chantice Freeman. Devin Robert Garcia. Noah Todd Gold. Taj Mark Gray. Tristan Allen Green. Cameron Isaiah Hackney. Damaria Chantel Hampton. Byron Deshaun Harris. Jaden Dane Harris. Brianna Rosaline Hayes. LaKendra Monique Hintz. Trayvon Dwayne Henson. Colton Travis Hewitt. Jocelyn Nicole Hicks. Alan David Hines. Avery Edward Holland Jr. Darren Janelle Houston. Adam James. Adam Edward James. Savannah Margaret James. Nathan James Grooms. Destin Shamar Jenkins. Jaden Denard Johnson. Navea Lynn Marie Johnson. Paige Madison Jones. Rakaya Latrice Keaton.
Renaya Latisse Keaton. Cameron Adele Kirkwood. Zaniya Catherine Ann Lane. Kendall Rashad Luckett. Jade Marie Lynch. Elena Berlin Mockray. Parker James Ross Mason. Matthew, Matthew Warren Megara. Caden Shamar McGee. Sanaya Charlene McKnight. Braylon Marquise McMillan. Connor Wayne McReynolds. Jabraylon Jaquan Moore. Jemiah Marie Morrow. Jeremiah Joshua Newell. Brendan William Henry Nutt. Asia Nairi Obi. Joshua Landon Page. Amaya Monet Parsons. Jared D. Denzel Pearson. Weston Anderson Pierce. Shelby Sue Qualls. Reese Leon Rayborn. Raylan Sierra Randall. Haley Marie Rasmussen. Tavion Edward Reed. Tiffany Janelle Ray. Faith Marie Rhodes. Gabrielle. Gabrielle Nicole Robinson. Kashawn Damon Robinson. London Lachey Robinson. Nasaya Jaquela Robinson. Amari Detrell Rogers. Anthony Trayvon Rucker, Jr. Pharaoh Michael Riles. Daniel Enrique Salvador. Jaden Lanise Sharp. Camille Elise Shaw. Bella Kate. 
Bella Sheedy. Roshan Simmons. Paris Ann Smallwood. Elizabeth Lauren Smith. Latrell Dontarius Smith. Emily Michelle Stanchek. Lauren Savannah Stanger. Micaiah Keandria Denise Stratford. Allie Nicole Stroud. Caden Andrew Stroud. Axton Seth Tackett. Khalil Lavon Talbert. Elizabeth Rose Thompson. Samara Nicole Scott. Presley Ann Turner. Philip Andrew Tut Jr. Kylan Lamar Vance. Jada Nicole Watkins. Arius Josephine Pompa Wallop. Jakasi Tariq West. Jaw Tafari White. Isaac Malachi Weeby. Sadie Jane Williams. Lacey Elizabeth Williams. Mia LaCole Winston. Matthew Edward Wood. Eric Latrell Young. Demetrius Marcel Corley. Kaya Shanae Garvey. Deja Aaliyah Handy. Michael Rain Leach. Nakima Sophia Muhammad. Kyron DeAndre Parker. Andrew Dalen Potter. Nanaja Sweeney. Say together. Maumel High School and the Driven Virtual Academy students. Please. 
Please remember to pick up your diplomas up in the foyer. Class of 2023, please stand. <laughs> Students, at this time, please move your tassels from the right to the left side. Audience, we now present to you the Maumelle High School and the Driven Virtual Academy graduating class of 2023. Please stand for the Maumelle High School alma mater. I think that's it. Isn't it?